Hi guys, Maria here again. Um, today in this video, we will gonna talk about how to adjust wrist watch. So if you are like me, who have a teeny arms, teeny wrist, um, I think you should watch this video because I'm gonna show you how to shorten your wrist watch. I'm gonna show you how to adjust your wrist watch. Keep watching. Okay guys, here are the things that we will need in adjusting our wrist watch. Um, towels, doesn't need to be clean. This is the towel that I always use if I'm doing some painting. Um, this screw, I don't even know that what kind of screw is this, flat? flat nose long nose because maybe it's long nose because it's pointed um this screw um head this we will use this as a hammer because we're not gonna use the heavy duty hammer because it will scratch your watch i like this because it's rubber but it's heavy enough to hit our teeny pin this i found this in the treasure of my husband i went ahead and checked his treasure in the garage and i found this very teeny pin which we will need to push the pin in our watch um you can use any teeny pin as long as it's sturdy uh strong enough to push our pin um two coasters i'm gonna explain to you later why we're gonna use this and Let's start! What we will do first is we will lay our towel like that and then our two coasters just enough space we just need that for when we will push our pen there's something there so we will not hurt our table this table is very special for me so taking good care of this table okay like that and then in when you will adjust your um, watch you get an estimate how many strap you gonna remove so I already estimate this I'm gonna remove two in this side and one in this side because see it's so teeny so I need to adjust I need to remove at least three I can I, I can do four but I also don't want it to be too tight I want it to move a little bit so it's up to you how many um, straps you're gonna remove but I'm gonna remove in mine um, three straps it start so you gonna see that side is much level and this side is if you can see the pin in there it's much deeper so that's the side where you're gonna push it out okay so in this side I'm gonna This is you're gonna need this. You're gonna attach that back later. So gonna one, two. So we will remove this until here. What we gotta do is put it in between the coaster. In anything, it doesn't need to be coaster. Anything, as long as you get a little gap in between for your pin when it comes out, it will not hurt your surface, the surface of your table or whatever you're using. Okay, and then our <laughs> hammer. You're gonna push it with um, with care. Push it with care, but with strength also. So you're going somewhere. It's not that just like you're pushing, pushing to nowhere. not there yet see you there's also an arrow 
I don't know if all watches have an arrow that means push it that way. It's moving. Ta -da! There you go. And we will save that because we will put it back later. Okay. Oops. And then the other side. You know I love you, baby. I love you. <laughs> we made it, guys. Okay. Oh my god, it's too short now. See how small my wrist? So, let's see. Perfect. See? Because you're gonna put back the lock. So, what you have to do is do the same thing when you detach it from there this time guys we will now attach the lock back to your watch using the same pin that we just removed and just make sure to use a softer hammer to avoid scratching your watch. Just make sure guys not to poke yourself with the pin that you're using like what happened to my finger so just be careful.
guys, <laughs> we're done. Ta-da! It's now short. Um, remember to keep your the straps that that you remove because when you get fat, I mean when you gain weight, you're gonna need that to put it back. Or you can buy a new watch. See, let's see. This is just um, a Christmas present for me from my workmate last last year and I never use it because it's too big and I actually forget about it and then I I was packing some stuff and then I was like oh I have this wash so I have to adjust it so now see perfect I can use it now I think guys if you have the proper tools it would be so much easier but you don't really need to buy those tools you can just use what you have in your house and you also don't need to go to the store where you pay and adjust your watch because um you can do it yourself it's so easy it's it just takes a little patient and care when you're punching it because i actually um bend one pin so because I think I hit it so hard, so so be careful. So yay! But if it's your first time and that's an expensive watch, I think you would rather ask somebody who's expert to adjust it. Um, this is just um, a gift. Not not. It's not just. It's a gift. But I know the price of this. <laughs> uh, it's not that expensive but it's expensive for me because it's a present you should value whatever you receive so you'll receive more <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys and if you have comments and suggestions on what I'm doing if you have a better idea share it to me in the comment and kindly subscribe to my channel this is again once again this is Maria and thank you so much for watching